Gulf, Florida. Woo! We are going to be going to the Great American Tiny House Show to get some ideas on things that we want to do for maybe a future project that we might be in store. My family, this is Cassandra. Hi. And that's Christian back there. You guys know Tony, my husband, and Walter. And my mother-in-law, Hilda. And so we are on our way to Tampa. Let's go. Woo! Florida State Fairgrounds where they are having a tiny house expo. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. Let's go. Outside of the convention, they had a bunch of showcased trailers and RVs. This small trailer by New Camp had a full kitchen with sink, stove, and refrigerator. It also had the back sitting area that converts into a bed and dinette. And there was a composting toilet and stand up shower. So, so, so cute and so compact. Perfect for a traveling couple. This medium sized RV was perfect for a traveling small family. It included a stand up shower, a toilet. It had the comfy driving space up at the front. Behind that area was the kitchen space where there was a sink, stove, refrigerator, and across from that a microwave. And of course, the back seating area can be converted into your bed. These little campers are so cute. And look at this. We've got a full queen size bed, bathroom. Dinette. We've got a bunk up there at the top, a full kitchen. The tree is so cute. Now this by far was my favorite part, getting to see everybody's unique, transformed, tiny houses. This one is called the Big Blue Hauler. It is a bus converted into a tiny home and it loved the curved ceiling to show that bus feature. It had a living room space where they had their couch behind the captain's seat. And as well, it was a Murphy bed where you can bring the bed off of the wall down when it is sleeping time. Your co-pilot had a chair to keep them safe during travel. And of course, what house is not complete with their TV and full kitchen with oven, stove, microwave and refrigerator and sink. This one also had your composting toilet as well such a beautiful unique home this 40 foot 1979 retired greyhound bus belongs to the vaughn family this family of four lives in this renovated bus full-time and have traveled the country visiting countless states all across america This beautiful home has a living room for the family to spend time in and a kitchen with a full-size refrigerator, stove, oven, microwave, sink, all the necessities that you would need in your home for kitchen. It also has two bunk beds where the girls sleep with plenty of storage underneath each of them, as well as a full shower and tub. They also have a washer and dryer and plenty of storage underneath the beds and in all of the cabinets. The master bedroom has a king size bed with plenty of storage for all of their personal items.
Prior to this becoming the home of the Vaughn family, it was used as a tour bus in Orlando. So they fully remodeled it into their beautiful home. Follow them at Hard to Reach. Now this tiny home was my favorite. It was a transit bus that had been converted into a home. It's in 2014 and it was created in just three weeks. The owners have been living in it for the last four years. And when you see inside it, you're not going to believe that it only took them three weeks to make this. Rom and Courtney, the owners, have created such a unique space with all of their personal touches throughout the entire home. The attention to detail and how they were able to create such a homey feel is something I had not seen before. This beautiful wood burning fireplace with the Spanish tiles behind it is just absolutely gorgeous. You, full-size refrigerator and this kitchen is to die for the counters the cabinets the fixtures are just gorgeous the hallway back towards the room has a map with all of the places they have driven and visited which was really cool to see and in the back of the bus is a full-size bedroom with a bathroom and a closet This next van was created by a young couple who had been traveling in the van for a few months with just the futon and a few shelves, but they decided that they wanted to go ahead and spruce it up a little. So about three days before this expo, they created this beautiful space with the futon couch in the back. It has a bathroom, a kitchen, and even that cute swing for their newborn baby. So let's check out what's going on inside the convention. So coming out to a, a show like this where you're looking at different possibilities, tiny homes, different designs, it just gets the creative juices flowing and it's really, really awesome. So we're checking out another house. We'll let you see what the interior looks like. This beautiful, modern, tiny home was custom built and can meet any of your needs. It has a bathroom with a fully functioning flushing toilet as well as a beautiful stand-up shower the staircase has drawers on the sides and it also leads up to the loft space where you can fit a king-size bed and across from that a twin-size bed with its own ladder to access from above you can see the beautiful view of the rest of the house So enjoy this final bus transformation tour. You can follow this person at And The Gray. And again, this is just another beautiful home that has been converted into such a lovely space where it looks cozy and comfy. So here is our last home for you guys to see. After the tiny house show, we went to downtown Tampa to walk around and find a nice place by the water for a bite to eat. So we came over to The Point, which is over here in downtown Tampa, and it's right by the water. So we're gonna go ahead and eat at one of the restaurants that are here. It's a beautiful day. I mean, the weather is just amazing. Awesome living in Florida.